Okay, why don't you try this question here? So here we have three co-workers, Marianne, Stephanie, and Carl. And they're employed by technology industry. Their hourly wage is $28.50. So every hour, they make $28.50. So during the month of June, Stephanie worked four hours less than twice the number of hours worked by Marianne. Carl worked 15 hours more than Stephanie. The three of them combined worked a total of 457 hours. Now this is clearly an algebra problem. We have to use our knowledge of algebra. We have to set up an equation. So there are four steps. There are four steps involved when solving these algebra equations. The first one is to identify the variables. Identify the variables. Now once we have the variables, we have to write the equation. And what do we do with an equation once we write it? Well, we solve it. We solve the equation. And then we check our answer, we write our answer. Okay, so let's look over here. Which one is going to be the x? So if I read this, it tells me something about Stephanie worked how many hours. It tells me something about how many hours Carl worked. It doesn't say anything about Marianne. So I think she should be the x. She should be the x. We don't know anything about her, so let's make her x. How many hours did Marianne work? We don't know. x. Let's look at Stephanie. So Stephanie, it says, worked four hours less. Four hours less. So I'm subtracting four from something. I'm subtracting four. Four less than what? Than twice, twice the amount of hours that Marianne worked. Well, how much did Marianne work? She worked X, so 2X. So it's four less than 2X. Like that. So take away four from double. And then over here we have uh, Carl, and it says Carl worked 15 hours more than Stephanie. So this is what Stephanie worked. So 15 hours more than that will be 2x minus 4, that's Stephanie, add 15. So when we simplify this, we get 2x plus 11. 2x plus 11. That's how much Carl worked. Okay, so these, we've identified the variables. And now we're going to write the equation. And this is the sentence that helps us write the equation. The three of them, the three of them, the three of them together. Let me just give you that in a second. The three of them combined worked a total of 457 hours. Combined, total. So I have to write the equation, you add up all of this stuff, and that equals 457. So x plus 2x minus 4, 2x minus 4, plus, plus 2x plus 11, 2x plus 11, equals 457 equals 457 equals 457 so this is the equation and I use the different colors to show that each person what each person makes up in the total so this is how much Marianne is, is, is working this is how much Stephanie worked and this is how much Carl worked now we solve the equation. So to solve the equation, I put my x's together. So I put my x's together. x plus 2x plus 2x, that's 5x. Negative 4 plus 11, that's plus 7, equals 457. And now what do I do? I subtract 7 on both sides. So I'll take away 7 over here. Take away 7 over here, and that gives me that gives me my new equation. 5x equals 7 minus 7 is 0. 457 minus 7 is 450. Look at that. It's divisible by 5. Divide both sides by 5. Divide this by 5. Divide that by 5. And that gives me... If I divide by 5, I'll get 1x, and here I'll get 90. So x equals 
90. So now we know what x is equal to. And what did we say x was? Well, we said x was Marianne's age. Uh, not her age, but how many hours she worked. So she worked 90 hours. How many hours did Stephanie work? Well, she worked 2 times 90 hours minus 4. And what is that? 180 minus 4 is 176. And then how many hours did Carl work? How many hours did Carl work? Well, he worked 2 times 90 plus 11, which is it also says that it's 15 hours more than Stephanie. So it should come out to 191, which is 180 plus 11, 191. And just for fun, we can add these all up. We can add these up. And it should add up to, it should add up to what? What should this all add up to? Well, we were told that the total was 457. So 190, I can just do that. 190, 190, I know, 90 plus 176 plus 191 equals 457. So we're right. Now the question is how much did Stephanie earn? So we've solved the equation. This was part three over here. So solving the equation over here was part three. Okay, and now part four, which is to write the answer. How much did Stephanie earn in June? Well, she worked 174 hours. So Stephanie earned 176 hours that she worked times $28.50 per hour. And when you multiply that, we get, let's do it, 176, 176 times 28.5. She earned $5,016. So that's the answer. She worked, she earned, she earned $5,016. And that's the final answer.